everything you see around me is fake. This is what it actually looks like. And the best part is you can do the same thing yourself completely for free in just five minutes. Let me show you how. And make sure you stick around to the end to get some tips on how you can get the best results. So step one is to just make sure you've got something pretty blank behind you because this gives you lots of different options when it comes to generating backgrounds with AI. Now for me, I've obviously just got my plain wall behind me, but you can use like a sheet or even just your standard setup, whatever it might be. Just be aware that the more clutter you've got, the more tricky it can be to get the exact results that you want. And then film your video just like I'm doing now and then get the footage and upload it to your computer. Now the next step is to import the footage into your editing software and just get it looking how you want it. So any color correction or brightness adjustments and things like that, do that all now just to make sure you have the footage looking how you want it to. Now from here, take a still frame from the video and you can either export that directly from your editing software, which is the best way to do it because you'll get the highest quality or you can just do a regular screenshot of a frame within the video. Now comes the AI part. So once you've got your screenshot, you can either use Adobe Firefly, which still has a free version or Adobe Photoshop. They're the two that I recommend because they're so easy to use and they both work the same. I'm going to talk about Adobe Firefly just because it's free and easy to get started. So just log in to Adobe Firefly, make sure you've got an Adobe account. And then once you've logged in, go to the generative fill option. Now here, upload your image and just mask out the area that you want to be able to generate the background in and separate that from the area where you're going to be sitting in the video. And just make sure you give yourself a little bit of extra space for things like head movements or hand movements around where you're actually sitting. And don't worry, because this will make more sense later. And from here, you can just start to have some fun. Just type in a prompt of the type of background that you might want for your video. And you can literally try all sorts of different things. I've tried like cafe backgrounds, office backgrounds, even like spaceship and sci-fi backgrounds. And you might need to try a few different prompts and generate a few different images just to get results that you might like. And then once you have the background that you like, just download the image. Now from here, go back to editing software. So for me, that's Final Cut Pro. And all you have to do is import your AI generated image into your editing software. Then put the AI image on top of your footage, stretch it out so it covers your entire clip. And then all you have to do is add a draw mask onto the image. And this is just to basically cut a hole through the image so that you can see the footage of you talking and moving about. So for me in Final Cut Pro, I just draw the draw image effect onto the JPEG, draw a relatively rough outline around myself, making sure I've got enough space for those little movements with my hands. You might see the AI background disappear, but all you have to do is just hit invert on the mask. And there you go, you have an area of the image at the center where the video just passes through. If there's a bit of a clear line where you drew the mask, you might just need to increase the feathering on your draw mask. And this will just help to soften the edges and blend the AI generated image with the footage that you've got behind it. And just like that, you've got your very own totally unique YouTube studio. Just quickly before I share some best practices so you can get the best results, just wanted to talk about my newsletter called Create Better, where I share tips, tricks, and advice on how to improve the production quality of your YouTube videos. I share everything that I've learned over the past four years. So make sure you sign up below. And if you use the link in the description, I'll send you a free PDF just outlining this entire process of creating AI generated backgrounds. So a few best practice tips when doing this type of background, try to avoid moving around too much just because if you move outside of your draw mask, you can get some kind of weird cut off hands and things like that. Try experimenting with different backgrounds. So use a dark background or a light background, or maybe just the background of your regular YouTube setup and adjust some individual elements within the background. But before you go ahead and create your AI generated YouTube video, check out this video here where I outline my entire editing process that will help Help you get really professional results. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.